know what this is. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my July 2019 TBR. If you guys are new to my channel, you do not know that my mom actually picks my TBR and she always has a fun little theme that goes along with why she chose the books. This month's theme is an interesting one. So without further ado, let us get started. Okay, so let me try to explain this theme. The theme is summer okay? But each book <laughs> it comes with an explanation and um, some of them are a little far-fetched but bear with me. The first book that she chose is When We Caught Fire by Anna Godsburn and the reason this is a summer is because it has the word fire in it. In the summer you go camping where you build a fire therefore fire camping summer. <laughs> This is actually an arc of the book that I was supposed to read back in October of uh, 2018. So we a bit behind in our arc reading, but this is about the Great Chicago Fire, or the Chicago Great Fire. I don't remember what it's called, but it was a big catastrophe. And I'm pretty sure that this is gay too, so I'm here for it, but I've had this for a very long time, so we're gonna read this one, hopefully. The next book that she chose was Salt to Sea by Ruta Sevetes, and this is on the list for summer because it has the word sea in it, and when uh, the summer time comes around, you go to the beach where the sea is. <gasps> This is a historical fiction. I'm pretty sure like a million people have read this book by now and I'm just late on the bandwagon. This is a historical fiction, not about the Titanic, which is what I originally thought it was about. Why? I don't know. Probably because it says Titanic really big on the back. It's not. It's about the Wilhelm Gustloff that was in the winter 1945 and people are vying for passage aboard the ship that promises safety and freedom. I'm gonna be real honest right now and I have no idea what this story is, like what happened with that ship. I'm guessing it crashed. I'm not very good at history, okay? But I know that a lot of people really enjoy this book, so it's been sitting on my shelf for years now, so it's a good excuse to finally get to it. The next book that she chose is Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, and she chose this because it is about video games. And in the summer, all you do is play video games. So honestly, I don't know that much about this book other than they made it into a movie. A lot of people hated it. A lot of people really enjoyed it. My dad read it. He liked it. But all I know is it's like virtual reality. This is another one that has been on my shelf for a million trillion years. The next one that she chose is The Program by Suzanne Young. And this one is because The Program made her think of summer school. Is this about summer school? No. No, it is definitely not, but here we are. This is about like a suicide epidemic and people are put into this program. Not 100% sure if it's to like stop the suicide epidemic or what, but this was super popular when it first came out, the whole series, and I have the first three or four books in the series. So again, this is another one that has been on my shelf for so long! So another excuse to actually get to it. The next one that she chose is The Fill-In Boyfriend by Casey West. This one is because in the summer you have summer romances. Fill-in boyfriend. Don't know that much about this one other than it's the fake dating trope which we a huge fan of on this channel so I'm very excited about this. This is another arc that I have from uh, 2015 so again we are very behind as you can tell. I like Casey West. I think that she's a very easy read author. Her books fly by for me so this one's gonna be good for when I read the more intense books which she didn't really choose that many of this time around. There is no murder murder stabby stabby so we'll see how closely I uh follow this TBR. The next book that she chose is Sleeping Freshman Never Lie by David Lubar. This one is because in the summer all you do is sleep sleeping. 
I feel like the theme of this video is me saying not 100% sure, but I'm not 100% sure about this book. I think that it's about a teenager who is just entering their freshman year of high school and their mom becomes pregnant so they decide that they're going to write a like notebook to the baby about how to survive freshman year. Something like that could be very wrong but from what I remember reading the back of the book when I was like bought the book like months and months ago that's what it was about. I probably should have read the back of the book before making this video but I was just focused on the reasons why my mom chose the books because I think they're hilarious. And then the final book <laughs> that she chose is the one that is the most far-fetched but kudos to you mama. It is The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil and this one is because in the summer you have factory jobs, but nobody wants a factory job because they suck. This one, another one, not 100% sure what it's about because it doesn't give you much on the back, but it does say that it is a sweeping tale of curiosity, love, and possession set amongst all of the solidness can't say that word, and soaring ambition of the 1850s London. I think it's about a girl who wants to become an artist and she meets a boy named Silas who like says that he'll teach her how to be an artist, but then he traps her in this thing, doll, house, doll, display, and it's like a magical realism kind of thing as well. Or there's some kind of magic in it. I don't know, but this is another arc that I was supposed to read by August 13th, 2019, so we're not behind yet. We can still finish this on time. Alright guys, so that was my July TBR for 2019. We're gonna see how many of these we actually complete because I suck at actually following TBRs. But let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye! Yeah.